Hey everyone, it's Kenji. I'm at home and I'm going to show you how to make some mayonnaise really fast. Um, so mayonnaise is a oil and water emulsion. Um, and so an emulsion is like when two things that don't normally mix, mix. That's when you force them to mix. Um, there's many ways you can make an emulsion. Um, you know, mechanically stirring them really vigorously. So the way like milk is homogenized, they press it at high pressure through a fine sieve and that breaks up fat droplets small enough that they could be surrounded by water um and that's what makes that's what makes homogenous milk homogenous instead of the cream rising to the top um a may mayonnaise is done through mechanical action um so traditionally with a whisk you you whisk together your egg um and your other liquids and your other flavorings and then you slowly drizzle in oil um and that whisking action breaks down the oil droplets into really small bits um as they get incorporated um egg yolk also has a thing it has an emulsifier called lecithin um and a lecithin is a lecithin is a molecule that is um hydrophobic on one end that means it's a attracted to oil um, repelled from water and hydrophilic on the other end, which means it's attracted to water. So that can help oil and water sort of integrate. Um, the way we're doing this, so we're, we're, we're putting a whole egg into the bottom of a cup. We're gonna put a little bit of Dijon mustard. You could use whatever mustard you want or, or no mustard. We're gonna do some lemon juice. Doesn't look like there's any seeds there, but just in case. I like mayo, my mayo nice and lemony, so I'm gonna do the whole lemon, but you could do half lemon. Um, and if you want it to taste a little bit more sort of like, you know, store-bought mayo, you can use uh, vinegar instead of lemon. That'll also sort of increase its shelf life. Um, with, with lemon, it'll last about uh, a week or two in the fridge before the flavor starts to go off. A garlic clove. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and some black pepper. And now we're just gonna use oil. Um, so this is a neutral oil. Um, so this one is uh, uh, grapeseed oil, but you could use, you know, canola oil, you could use rice bran oil. Um, I've written in the past that you don't wanna use olive oil when you're using this method. Um, and uh, the reason is because it can turn the olive oil bitter. Um, I've sort of modified my take on that a little bit. Um, you know, so if the thing is, if your if your olive oil is naturally very bitter, and a lot of the really high end ones are, they have a sort of like stringent quality of bitterness to them. Um, blending it uh, at high with a high powered blender can actually bring those bitter flavors out a little more. Um, and I've done this with blind taste tests with a, with a big panel of tasters. So it's, it's definitely a thing that happens. Um, but if your olive oil is not that bitter to begin with, it doesn't really matter. So I'm actually going to, I know that this olive oil is sort of a nice buttery, not too bitter one. So I'm going to add a little bit of that as well. Um, if you do want to use a sort of more bitter olive oil, what I would do is start your mayonnaise, um, in an immersion with an immersion blender in a cup like this, um, and then finish it in a bowl whisking in the, whisking in the olive oil by hand. And that won't cause it to turn extra bitter. All right. So now I have this cup, I got this immersion blender. The head has to fit just inside the cup. What's really important is that if you can see, um, you can see from the other camera, I'm sure the head of the blender has to be below the level of the water based liquid. So the eggs and the mustard and the lemon juice and the oil has to be on top because the idea is that so traditionally when you're making olive oil, you're slowly whisking in oil. Um, and it's really important to that you whisk in the oil that the oil is incorporated slowly um, because if too much oil gets in, it kind of overwhelms the emulsion. And what happens is that oil um, is really difficult to separate into small enough droplets and those big droplets attract other droplets and your oil and your mayonnaise just breaks, the, oil, the fat separates out. Um, by incorporating them slowly, you get each one of those sort of surrounded um, by water molecules so that it's much more difficult for them to then bump into each other. Um, what using an immersion blender does is that it pulls the oil down, you put the head all, all the way at the base, you turn it on and it pulls the oil down in a vortex. Um, so it kind of automatically introduces the oil slowly into the emulsion. And you'll see once I start this, um, I'm gonna start it, it goes really fast. The emulsion is gonna start at the bottom, oil is gonna get pulled down and then I'm gonna slowly pull the head of the blender blade up. Um, and that's going to create a very, very stable emulsion. You ready? It's fast, so here we go. And that is basically mayonnaise. I like my mayonnaise a little bit thinner, so I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon of water or so, but you can adjust the texture as you see fit. Oh, 
awesome. Give it a little taste here. Mm, good. Could use a little bit more salt. Mayonnaise. Um, mayonnaise should be pretty highly seasoned um, because it's a cold sauce and cold things generally cold things are generally harder to taste seasoning in, so you want them to be a little bit more highly seasoned than a hot pan. Let's try that again. Mmm, perfect. Yummy. Alright. You see how easy that was? If I wasn't talking, it would have taken about one minute. Um, and it's much, much better tasting than the store-bought. Mm. So if you do want your mayonnaise to taste a little bit more like the store-bought, like I said, you can use vinegar um, instead of lemon juice. Um, also add a touch of sugar to it, and that'll get it a little bit closer to the store-bought flavor. Um, if you really want it to like hardcore taste like store-bought, then just go buy it at the store, because why would you make it fresh if you want it to taste store-bought? All right, guys, gals, non-binary pals, um, I'm gonna make a tuna melt with this mayonnaise um, and that's going to be in a separate video that i will link in the description so let's go make a tuna melt all right bye bye hey everyone it's kenji there are 22 million kids in this country that rely on school lunches for nutritious meals and with schools closed now more than ever organizations like no kid hungry can use their support so i'm asking you to join me uh click the link in the description below to donate some money no amount is too small or too big thank you very much and stay safe bye bye